Hello guys and welcome back to World of Tanks with Pandy. Today we are going to have a quick review of Jack Panzer E100. This is a um, German tier 10 uh, heavily armored tank destroyer. Uh, this tank is a fictional one, it means that never existed. Um, this was the uh, first tank in the game that had uh, uh, seven, seven, uh, 17 centimeter cannon, 17 centimeter pack gun. Uh, I think uh, that this tank was introduced in early patches in the game where uh, there was uh, too many one shot. Uh, wonders of the Soviet Union like uh, ISU 152 and Object 704 and Object 268 and because of the massive uh, uh, bad rap of the German tank destroyers that had the uh, DPM like Ferdinand, Jack Panther 2, Jack Panther and uh, the Jack Tiger at the end, which was a uh, really historical tank oh, TD, pardon me uh, They introduced as a tier 10 Jack Panzer E100 It is a tank with a slow reload It has a rate of fire of 2.33 per minute uh, It has almost 300 penetration and average damage of 1050 damage with the, an aiming time of 2.7 the accuracy isn't that bad it's 0 0.35 this this cannon can do 1400 damage with the HE ammo if you do if you penetrate you're gonna do full damage the average penetration of HE ammo is 85 uh, the penetration on heat ammo as the gold shell is uh, 420 so that basically means that with both of these shells you can pretty much easily penetrate anything uh, in the game and with HE shell you can penetrate the uh, for example scouts you can one shot scouts you can one shot tier 8 TDs with no armor I'm talking about, about Waffentrager Bossig uh, you can you can shoot with HE a lot of, a lot of tanks and do full damage and wreck their life uh, this tank has uh, 30 km per hour top speed, 20 degrees per second traverse speed. It's really slow for rotating. Uh, the gun traverse isn't that bad. I think that you have like at least 30 or 30 or 35 degrees around around uh, around at least 10 degrees in in both directions like this uh, you have a big engine power uh, 1200 uh, horsepower engine which is I think it's a yep it's a Maybach engine uh, the armor uh, at this TD is uh, really something to uh, worry about if you encounter them because it has a whole armor of two, 200 it's over here and this counts as a spaced armor as well now you have 200 of millimeters of armor over there over there and the gun mantlet I don't know how much gun mantlet is is tough but I think you uh, it counts as a spaced armor and it's really really tough uh, uh, tough uh, place to hit uh, but the lower plate is uh, I think only 100 millimeters thick so you can shoot it in lower plates in a lot of situations only if he is angled like this because of that slope you can see that slope uh, you tend to get a bounce uh, 
this counts as a space armor as well so my recommendation don't shoot Jack Panzer E100 here if you if you really if, if you don't if you don't have a shot don't shoot it over here shoot it uh, only in upper hull which is uh, 120 millimeters uh, and it can be easily penetrated uh, you hit him here and you're gonna uh, mo most most in most situation you're gonna penetrate it uh, on the back of the tank you can see that it can it has uh, 150 millimeters or armor but you see these big doors uh, I think that these do these doors are only like 100 or 75 millimeters of armor uh, and you can wreck it pretty easily in the in in the bomb. Uh, this cap over here, commander's hatch. Uh, I think it's only 100 millimeters, so you can penetrate it over here as well. And if you penetrate a <coughs> lower plate, uh, just as like on E100, uh, you can set set this tank on fire pretty much easily uh, this tank weighs around 150 the weight limit is 150 tons and it has 2200 hit points which is uh, really good it has a 400 meter view range uh, 720 signal range and that's pretty much it uh, it has a really big crew like I think you have uh, two loaders yeah, it has two loaders, radio operator, driver, gunner and commander. Uh, I recommend uh, have a, for you to, if, if you didn't uh, already research the uh, Sixth Sense on the earlier tanks, uh, research the Sixth Sense and uh, this tank really benefits the Brothers in Arms perk and in my case I did some repairs and some perks like for example I did clutch braking because of the port reverse speed uh, I did uh, safe storage because uh, if your Amorak get hit uh, like your reload goes from 21 seconds to uh, almost 40 seconds and something like that so yeah you, you need that uh, Amorak uh, I equip uh, usually 14 uh, shells of regular AP, 5 shells of HE and 5 heat shells which I almost never use. I am using automatic fire extinguisher, I use uh, the small repair kit, small repair kit and small first aid kit and that's about it. F so I think uh, we can go and see my master image badge game which was a really really nice game where uh, you're gonna see how two different uh, tier 10 uh, german tank destroyers can work together and do a lot of good work so for no further ado let's go and see that replay now here we are on sacred valley map it's uh, an encounter game uh, me and my buddy Toxin are in our tier 10 uh, TDs. He's driving his uh, Waffentrager of E100 and I'm in Jagdpanzer E100. Now we're thinking over here where should we go but initially we should go and Those encounter kids. their team uh, that is spawning from the this place over here and I'm thinking about it I definitely need to go over there to to counter their heavy tanks and TDs because the majority of our team will will depend on how two of us perform and you see us going over there at the first our plan was to go over there but uh, 
in a few moments uh, my friend is gonna say fuck it I'm gonna go back you should go back as well because we are alone over here and then uh, I come up with an idea to for him it's better to go uh, on that hill and snipe and I'm gonna be a big juicy bait for these guys that are going to come over here now you see me one shot in the ISU 152 and now I'm pulling back in few seconds I'm going to uh, hide over there and make some space so I can lure them to attack me because as you can see around here on the on the map I have my buddy and others uh, yeah you see ISU saying good shot I bounced the 100 I don't know how and he shot me in my gun so I didn't penetrate uh, I am I'm literally camping over here and waiting for them to come come at me because I don't really want to go in front of all those guns my advantage is my friends behind me so I, my job here is basically to lure them to attack me to to, to make a mistake because I have a really really big gun line behind me this guy panicked and uh, I smacked him E100 uh, bounces me again I move uh, uh, a really really uh, too much over here I think Artie could have killed me but I know, don't know where he aimed. You can see my friend is wrecking that, that Centurion 1. I got shot by, I think, E100 at the end. Yeah, and if I, I S7 gonna get wrecked as, as the Centurion did. Because they think, they're thinking uh, that they're flanking me and that they're advancing. But they actually they're lured to a trap. If you if you see it uh, with from the different perspective, we didn't stand a chance to go frontally against their TDs and heavy tanks. We uh, we got the heavy, heavy heavily armed TDs. Yeah, very nice shot by me. Uh, we got heavily uh, we got uh, TDs, and uh, the rest of our team was tier eight mediums and and TDs. So that's not uh, kind of tanks you want on your team uh, when you need to face I, uh, IS-7 or E-100 now you see me I am luring this guy to go go at me because I hope they forgot about my friend and the gun line behind me uh, yeah we're we're losing a uh, few tanks around but uh, we are still in the game uh, we attacked uh, their base we have one tank two tanks in their base now you see me I am I'm baiting him but uh, he's he's not that stupid but I think he's gonna make a mistake now yep my friend managed to track him and to finish him up with the second shot I think my friend gonna wreck this yep or maybe I will yep I'm gonna finish that, that guy and that's it we finished all of the guys that were coming from this side you can see three of the tanks over there two of the tanks over there five enemy tanks destroyed by two tank destroyers I mean we are tier 10 tank destroyers but uh, you need to keep in mind that my reload is uh, around 20 seconds and I don't know how I missed that, but I missed. And the reload on Waffentrager E100 is like around 50 seconds. My friend is using uh, the gun with more shells, with smaller uh, the Jack Tiger gun. 
basically. The the game is pretty much even, but I think my friend is is reloaded and he's starting to shoot people on the other side now as well. So I'm gonna try to go and see if I can uh, manage to pick up at least one more kill to get those brothers in arms because I have two kills and he already managed to put three guys down. There are only left Arty, Bossig and 1A3. The Bossig is dead. Now you can see 1A3 over there. I'm thinking of it. I'm thinking of it. I have a really really small chance and yep, I, I managed to, to kill that guy. My friend wasn't happy with that kill still, but I I at the end said it's for the brothers in arms, you know, and then he was <laughs> laughing at me <laughs> and I was laughing too. Usually when we play games, uh, I tend to kill still his kills but at least uh, this time I was thinking that it was justified because of the shiny metal. And somebody is capping. I don't know who is capping over there. T69 is cautious to not get derped by GW Tiger. And I'm searching for that RT at the end. Trying to find him as well. Where could he be? Oh, he's over there. I am loaded. And could can we get a sh kill? Yeah, we can get the fourth kill as well. So yep, and we had the one percent, one hundred percent capped. So this was a really really good game, and uh, you're gonna see the post game stats and uh, well, how this game was looking in numbers. And uh, here are the post-game stats of that game. As you can see, uh, it was a mastery badge game, a high caliber and brothers in arms game. We also get uh, these minor medals like uh, fire for effect and shell proof. This is the first time I saw this shell proof medal. Uh, it means that uh, you had uh, total damage blocked by armor exceeds the hit points of your vehicle and you survived the, the game and fighter medal uh, we managed to uh, damage or destroy the six tanks and we spotted a lot uh, the reason why this was uh, this uh, really big uh, victory is because it was a times three event uh, from this weekend and uh, we had uh, as you're gonna see over here in detailed we have 5k damage we uh, did 4k spotting for our friend uh, we earned 50k uh, <laughs> credits uh, with the premium because that was a uh, Halloween day I think when we played it was a uh, first November and we all got that uh, premium day I think or it was a Friday 34 I, I, I don't know it was a hollow some of these Halloween days um, I managed to pick up the 1000 base XP and then I got some action payout and it was in total 5747 XP. Uh, my team did really great. Uh, my friend did almost 4k damage and 3 kills. Uh, he got the uh, Brothers in Arms medal as well as I did. Yep. But that was stupid to say because obviously <laughs> the two of us uh, got the medal. Uh, we did uh, seven kills between us and we managed to uh, stop the enemy advancing. As you can see over here, uh, their team didn't uh, play a uh, hard game. This is that centurion that got uh, smacked at the beginning uh, this is the ISU that only he, he one shot at somebody I think 
and then the next next situation was that I one shot at him. So there Arty did a good game, but uh, I I personally wanted to show you this game uh, only because we didn't had these uh, heavy tanks that they got. Uh, Jagdpanzer V100 is a great TD, but. Uh, you need to know how to play it, you need to know how to um, uh, play with that reload of, of 20 seconds between the shot and Waffentrager isn't even uh, having any armor so in this in this game where they have had these uh, good armored tanks against us uh, our only best bet was to pull back to have some people spotting and uh, other tanks like uh, Bossig, like Waffentrager, like ISU, uh, like Ferdinand to sit behind or 1A3 to sit behind and exploit that situation. Uh, I know it's a bit campy but I showcased you that uh, I managed to stop and uh, to lure uh, five enemy tanks into dying. Uh, they had their opportunities. They had to choose uh, rather to attack me or to fall back and go for the other side. But uh, at the end we won because uh, we played smart, we played safe. Uh, we saw what was uh, our chance in that game and we used it and I hope uh, I managed to uh, showcase you and uh, 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 give you an example uh, like uh, how one TD functions and how the other German TD functions uh, the Waffentrager feels the best uh, far behind sniping with that accurate gun as you saw and the Jack Panzer sometimes can be a good bait and it can really really punish enemies from close range like you saw we one shot at the tier 8 uh, heavy tank with that 1k damage shot and later on with when we fight fighted uh, the bigger tier 10 heavy tanks we punished them as well we managed to uh, angle that armor like I show you how I do it in in E100 uh, and you managed to 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 pick up even uh, a good results in in blocking uh, that damage in next patches I think wargaming gonna introduce uh, something called uh, tanking and with if you if you uh, learn how to uh, block enemy damage uh, you're gonna earn money and credits for that as well so I hope you guys like this video and uh, I gonna see you soon